Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. Alright, like on the way in my friends, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel, helps me tune into you. Flip the rolls as you see fit, take what resonates and leave the rest. And thank you so much for those who have liked, shared, and joined my soul tribe. I so appreciate you. Alright. Let's see what we got for today. Spirit, give me a message for the overall collective. Amen. Let's do it. Spirit, Spirit give me an overall energy, please. And thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have water. Emotions, right? Surrender, clouds, distractions. And fun. Flamingo. Fun. And I'll take this one. Bullseye. Focus. So, focus, fun, distractions. We'll start it from the other one. Sorry. I'm all over the place. The first one is surrender. Second one is distractions. Third one's fun. Fourth one's focus. It could be that a person was too focused on fun. Distracted by it. The spirit is asking them to focus and surrender. Focus on what's truly important. And not, I don't know, like, what you can get out of a person. Yeah, it's like somebody is missing the point of what a connection is versus what it should be. Or what they perceive it to be and what it should be. Getting too bogged down with hit it and quit it like superficial versus meaningful that's what I'm hearing let's see what spirit has to say more about that what is this about spirit this distractions And it's like, when you see the water, it's like a water represents emotions. It's like, you need to surrender to your emotions. Maybe somebody is masking their emotions, right? Pretending that everything is fine when it's not. Distracting themselves to forget. Yeah. Paying attention to frivolous pursuits versus what's truly meaningful. Yeah, that's too many spirit. Come on, man. I have key here. It's like, what's the key, spirit? What's the key? A child could be the key. A child is an anchor for a man. Mm -hmm. A king like man. So. It's keeping that person there. And maybe in a relationship that they're not happy with, but they're focusing, not focusing, but they're distracting themselves. Instead of surrendering, it's they're fighting the situation. Hmm. That's what it feels like. Like something is very sad for a person. The child makes them happy, but the situation makes them miserable. 
The child is the key. That's what I'm hearing. It anchors this person to a certain situation that they would have left a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Walk, walking away. Somebody it's like keep going. Yeah. So somebody had to move on from a situation. But if they haven't, they will, right? Past, present, and future energies at play. Speak your truth. Mm. And I feel like somebody isn't speaking their truth in this situation. Going with the flow of the universe versus fighting it. This is what I'm saying. Somebody's not telling their truth. Somebody wants to move forward with in a situation, but somebody's anchored or stuck in a situation because the child is the key. So they have a child with somebody and they're staying there because of the child, right? Maybe distracting themselves with fun. Yeah, something like that. Going places, traveling, doing things with the child. But they're like wanting to escape a situation. They never tell their truth. It's like they just like barely, I don't know, it's like fu function. It's like they're like I'm on a, almost on an autopilot. Yeah. Trying to act like everything is, is good, but when it's not. Hmm. Um. It's like they're with somebody that is constantly like complaining to them about something. And before I started the reading, it was like in my head, this sentence, you never listen to me. It's like somebody keeps saying that to this person. You never listen to me. Because this person does not want to be with this person. And they distract themselves with the child, go places, do things with the child. Because that's what anchors them there. But they want to break free from this situation with this person. Who's constantly complaining. Never happy. Never listen to me. Mm. Joy and stability. This is what is the ultimate goal, right? Love is here as well. Like a true connection. And simply love, it's like a, the child. So it's like they have that love from a child. But they don't have joy and stability or a true partnership with the person they have the child with, is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, move. They want to move away from this situation. But they are not telling that to the person. They're just getting by or... I don't know. I don't know. Spirits like focus. I don't feel like they can though. Nurturing themselves and others. Like if you can't nurture yourself, you're never going to be able to nurture anyone else. But they want a partnership. But it's like their doubts are keeping them stuck there. Anchoring them. Believe and succeed. It's like you have to go with the flow that the universe is trying to motivate you to do otherwise you're going to always be stuck in the situation that you're not happy in i don't know i think i feel like this is the lesson the person needs to get out of their head and really care about themselves i feel like this person cares about themselves I feel like they want love. They are a loving person. But they're not capable of being honest because they're afraid. It's like they're afraid to lose this child that they're anchored to that, that is so important to them. This family, this, this kid that they're afraid that will be taken from them. Mm. 
keys on the trees so it's like there's a link here keys on the trees hmm. All right, let me see if I can find out what the heck that's about keys on the trees like I said there's a key here keys on the trees let me look here You get to this. Believe in yourself. Solutions and creativity. So it's like this person's in a self-imposed prison, right? Keys on the trees. It shows like this tower and this elephant at the top of the tower holding onto the key with the trunk. And it's mentioned these keys are hanging from the trees. If he picks one, he can open the cage and release himself into the wild. No situation is too complicated to be solved. Look in unexpected places for answers. You have the creativity to find the way out. So it's like they they want to find the way out, but they're afraid that they're going to choose the wrong door number four, you know, and it's going to be like keeping them stuck more. But it's really in their self-imposed, it's a self-imposed prison that they've created for themselves versus the reality of it is that they're not trapped at all. I mean, they chose this person to have a life with. And they have this family, this child, at least one child, that they have anchored and changed because of this person. They're more responsible. I think before they weren't focused and distracted. And this child really keys, you know, the key here is really that child is making them a better version of themselves. That's how I feel. That's what I'm seeing here. They are focusing fully on this child, 12, 12 on the clock, and not on their own feelings. It's like they've stifled their feelings. Like their feelings don't even matter anymore. And there's nothing wrong with loving your child and want to provide for your child. But it's like, if you don't care about yourself, how, how are you supposed to care about anybody else? Truly in a healthy way is what I'm hearing, what I'm saying, you know. You can't. Yes, this is the, the, the Five of Pentacles, this trapped, stuck mentality. Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, not moving, imprisoning themselves into this life that they're not happy with. Mm. The devil's in reverse. So it's like whatever codependencies or addictions that this person has or had, they're trying to overcome them. The death is here, though. Change is not happening for this person. They're staying stuck in a situation because they feel like they need to for this family. Yes, but justice is here. And it's like whatever injustices that's happened in this person's life are going to balance themselves out. But they need to balance themselves out, right? Permit. So they've stayed stuck and isolated in their own little world there's an illusion here a delusion that they've set up that they're happy and even tell people that they've never been happier right with this choice the lovers is here they're so happy with this choice but they're really not they're not because they want to take a leap of faith they want to succeed they want to get out of this situation, this stuck energy. Nine of Pentacles is here. This, The Fool is here. Maybe they took a leap towards something they thought was going to be prosperous with the Nine of Pentacles, but didn't happen at all, right? It weakened them in some ways. Strength is in the reverse. Five of Wands is here in reverse. It's like a pawn. Maybe that's how they feel. Like They feel like, I don't know, they feel used or they feel like they were duped or fooled by a person. And because of embarrassment, because of pride, they stay stuck in this situation. 
you're trying to work out a situation where they can leave maybe even trying to reason with this person they're not happy to try to do it the right way right 15 15 on the clock wands is aries leo and sagittarius hmm. they want to leave they want to sail away right they want to move away they feel like there's all these entanglements that they have, especially the child, if they do have this child. How are they going to walk away from that situation and not be in this child's life every day? That's what's keeping them there. Mm. It's like they want to have the confidence. And they are making progress in their life towards releasing this individual is what I'm hearing. We have wands is here. Hmm. Then you have like the Hierophant is here. So it's not really a traditional situation because it's in the reverse. Traditional values. Maybe they're not married to this person but they are connected to this child. Living together, that type of thing. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have a traditional connection. Yeah. There is a Queen of Wands here. The Magician's in the reverse. The King of Cups is in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, so they have this person here. Queen of Wands that possibly could be this person that they wanted right but they were distorted the King of Cups is here in the reverse so they held back which is what it's saying here did not go towards this person but went towards a non-traditional relationship with somebody else and that's why justice is here as well Maybe they want to give justice to this person, but they feel like they're not in a position, maybe even financially, to be able to come towards this individual. But they want to, but they're not. They're not. They're not asking for it because it's like they feel like maybe they would be rejected. Is what I'm hearing, because the magicians here in the reverse. Yeah. Or somebody could be a distorted magician trying to keep them stuck and away from this Queen of Wands. Yeah. This King of Cups could have wanted to make a different choice but chose poorly and now it's like maybe they weren't in the right energy, right? The right place. And maybe they're angry with themselves for that too. You know, that they didn't make the right choice. Five of Swords is here. Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a lot of conflict here. Manipulation, right? With the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, who kind of rules the roost in a lot of ways and sets the tone for the connection tells them how it's going to be and they have to follow that right or else yeah and materialism could be a big thing in this connection it's all about the benjamins what can what have you done for me lately right mm, 1919 on the clock here yeah then there's seven of pentacles here as well but it's in the reverse. It never really panned out in this connection. It's always been like whatever success it was. It was short lived, but it was a choice. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune is here. So there is something that's changing in this connection. 
And I feel like this person's trying to heal whatever mindset that they had that trapped them in the first place, this illusion, right? The moon was here so that things can move forward for this person, right? Like a destiny. This might have been a destiny, a destined situation to keep this person where they're at for a reason. The sun is here too, but it's in the reverse. I feel like they, they, they live in a dark place right now because they can't see the sun right now. It feels like it's blocked off from this person. Yeah. And it's leaving them depressed. Negative. Mm -hmm. Yep. They have to get out of their head. That self-imposed prison. In order for the Wheel of Fortune to move in a forward motion instead of a stuck energy. Yeah, look at this. They're trying to get out of it. The Eight of Swords is here. That self-imposed prison, they're trying to. And this could be like past, present, or future energy. This person could be moving forward. There's a high priestess here. Maybe they are a high priestess. But they haven't been using their gifts in a good way. Their negativity has blocked their gifts. The chariot has not moved. Because they haven't. Right? As long as they continue to look at life in a bad way, it's going to continue to get worse for this person. Let me see if there's any time frame for this to happen where they can get unstuck. There is this wish they have, though, for a different outcome in love. Right? Somebody they, they're they hoping for a second chance with or another opportunity with. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody that they should have chose versus the one they did. 22, 22 on the clock. Is there, a, is there a time frame for this change to happen for this person? Let me see really is a choice that this person has to make. And I feel like this child is anchoring them, but the life that they're leading is angering them. And it's only making the situation worse for the child. Because to see parents fighting, to see a miserable situation, it is not healthy for the kid either to see that. Yeah says in January that came up more than once in January so the new year could make be a new a change for this individual in January that's what it's saying and the other thing is don't wait around so if you're looking for if you are tuning in for this person to find out about this person, Spirit is saying don't wait around because January is a long way off, right, in a sense. It's not that far, but it's far enough. But there is change that will come. This person is going to break free from the situation. That's what will eventually happen. But right now, Spirit is saying keep moving forward. Don't wait for anybody. That's all I have for you today on Empress Aries 8 at 8. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe because I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.